tutorial today we're back with the Fiat Punto Grande I'm gonna look at the spark plugs and show you guys how to remove clean and replace if necessary first things first we've got to open the bonnet so bonnet release catches on the passenger side just underneath the glove box uh, if you're in Europe it will be on the driver's side just underneath the steering wheel area right guys we've got the bonnet open ready to start stripping down to get the spark plugs out if you're new to this channel my name's Sam Clark and this is One Life we do a bit of everything from car tutorials to vlogs to cars and motorbikes car reviews so check it out hit that subscribe button give us some support right let's have a look closer we've got the bonnet up first thing we want to do is get the air box off you've got a big bolt here if you can see that be a 12 or a 13 mil and one on the other side and you've also got one up here which looks a bit awkward to get to I think that's just a rubber grommet actually that's not a bolt so we'll get these two off get the airbox off first right guys so I've got those bolts out if you want to come a bit closer Mike so we've got two 10 mil they were not 13 or 12 I just use a socket and extension to get down there to so this now should literally pull off Now, watch under here, you've got a vacuum pipe under here, so you probably want to whip that off just to get it out of the way. Uh, it should just pop off. Or if not, just put that down the side out of the way. So next thing's next, people. We need to get the cool pack off and out of the way, which is this thing here. You see, we've got three 10 mil bolts. Whip them off and you can pull each spark plug out. Now, you want to remember which plug is for which one. So this is it's quite sort of self-explanatory. You've got one, two, three, four in order, and they're going into each cylinder in the corresponding order. So with this car, I, I know where they go, so I don't need to mark them. But if you're unsure, make sure you mark them. If you put these back the wrong way around, your car won't start. Handy little ratchet spanner here. You've got one. Use it, the great. If not, just use a socket. So I'll get these three bolts off, get the coil pack off and pull each cap off the top of the spark plug. Right guys, so I've undone the bolts, uh, pulled the caps out from the top of the spark plug. We need to undo this electrical connection here, it's just a little clip. Pull it up with your finger like that and wiggle it out like that. Right, so the coil pack's out of the way. Put that down there. Next thing next. We've got four spark plugs buried down here, so we need an extension and a spark plug socket. I'll show you that in a minute. Right, so if you can see down here, there's the top of your plugs. One, two, three, and four. So we'll get an extension and a spark plug socket. So we've got a 16 mil socket on an extension bar. Now this socket's missing the rubber, but if you've got a proper spark plug socket, it'll have a little rubber in it which grips the plugs while you pull it out of the hole. If you haven't got that, you can either shove a little rubber grommet in the end of it first, or just loosen the spark plug and get some long nose pliers in to get them out. It can be a bit fiddly, but we'll put that on top of the plug. And I'll just get my ratchet. Ratchet on it. And anti-clockwise. These plugs haven't been out for a while, so they might be a bit tight. So we've got the plug out. As you can see, it's quite dry and sorted up. This car hasn't had much use recently though, so it could be a factor of that and a factor of doing a lot of short runs. So in this particular case, they're not the newest plugs. I'd replace all four of these with some brand new ones, get some high quality plugs. It's always worth spending the money on them. 
but for the sake of today we're going to clean it up and put them back so if, to clean them up all you need is a bit of petrol or WD-40 degreasing fluid something like that and a wire brush give it a good soak and a scrub and then dry it back off but you'll see that now right I've just give this a quick clean so as you can see just tidy it up a little bit I always check the gap check that that gap's not been squashed in if you're unsure on what the gap should be uh, look it up on the specs for the car or ask me in the comments below and I'll let you know and you can buy a gapping tool that you put between it to see to make sure that gaps right you don't want to knock that in because it will mess up the uh, performance of your engine so the next thing is we're gonna put this back in now and the other three what you've got to be careful of when you put these back in is you don't knock it into the cylinder drop it in the hole and knock that in so maybe put a bit of tape or a bit of rubber in your socket so it grips into the socket you can turn it tight and then pop it off again so we'll get that back in now back into the socket find the hole and if you look it like that first time sometimes it doesn't go in the thread properly so Got to mess about with it a bit. Careful not to cross thread him because that will ruin your engine. And we're just going to get that tightened up now. Right, that's all tight. So you've just changed all your spark plugs, preferably for new ones, like I said. You've put them back in the car. Now we're going to get your coil pack. You're going to put this back into position. Or if you find it easier, I don't know if you can see on the camera, these four caps, like I said, put them back on first maybe. Whatever's easiest for you, it is a bit fiddly. Uh, I'm personally going to line them up in the respective holes and then I'll get this back into position and bolt it down first and then pop the caps back on properly. Oh yeah, don't forget to put your electric connection back in, that's important or it won't work at all. Right guys, sorry about the low light, it's getting dark now. So we've got the coil pack on, uh, each HDI cap back on the spark plugs, so that's all back together, power lead back on. So now I'm just gonna line this back up. If you took the vacuum hose off, make sure you put it back on, I have not though. This goes, this is your air intake bit that goes onto the uh, throttle body. So that lines up there, and then that grommet goes in the hole at the back. go slots in quite easily and you've just got your two 10 mil bolts I'm gonna put them in and tighten them up with a 10 mil socket that's about it for this video it's a simple one but it's a regular service you know everyone needs to change the spark plugs there's no point paying a garage to do it for the money they charge do it yourself dead easy all you need is a 10 mil socket extension bar and ratchet and a 16mm socket for the actual plugs and some WD-40 and a wire brush to clean them or if you've got a new set you don't even need that make sure you don't crush your HDI leads because that cause problems other than that it's a fairly simple job DIY job you know give it a try yourself if you're thinking about it as for this car the Fiat Punto Grande as you know I've done a few tutorials before if you're new to this channel look back on the videos you'll see a uh, a few different tutorials on this and other cars and that's it from me today if you want to know anything else about this car or any other cars drop a comment below let me know and I'll help you where I can that's it from me next vlog coming in the next few days my name's Sam Clark you're watching One Life peace uh -huh, uh -huh.